We're now going to move on and do a, an exercise where we use polar array. Select the circle tool, turn snap on, click on a suitable position for the center of your circle, and enter 50 for the radius. Repeat circle, and with object snap on, we're going to snap to quadrant of the 12 o'clock position on the circle. Left click, and enter 10 for the radius of a circle. We're now going to use polar array. So if I right click and look at recent input, I can find array and the recently used commands. We now wish to use polar array, so we select the polar array radio button, select objects, which is the small circle, right click, we need to select the center point, the center of rotation of the array, so where it says center point, we click on pick center point, and we need to snap to the center of the circle using object snap. The total number of items I want is five, so I'll change the total number of items to five. Leave the angle to fill 360, the default. Click on preview, that's okay, so right click to accept that. Now I'm going to turn the grid snap off. Select the line tool and draw a line snapping from the center of the circle. And I need to turn off ortho to make this task easier. Snap to tangent and right click and enter to finish the line. Right click and select repeat line. And we need to snap to center again, which I'm probably going to be doing. So I will right click. Ah, can't. Escape. I'm going to modify the object snap settings. Right click on object snap settings, and I'm going to enable end point. Okay. Start another line, snap to the end point of the first one, snap to tangent, and and uh, we return to the array tool now. Recent input, select array, <coughs> select objects. So I'm just drag a green window around the two lines, around the end of the two lines, to select them. Right click. All of the other settings remain as previously set. We use the same center of rotation, same number of items, and angle to fill is 360. So I'll do a preview. That's fine, so I'll right click to accept that. All that remains now is to trim out some unwanted sections of the circle. To do that, I leave the grid snap turned off. Select the trim tool from the modify section of the ribbon. And we select the cutting planes, which means selecting each of the small circles by left clicking on them and turn. Having done that, we right click. And we now select the sections of the large circle that we wish to remove. And right click and enter. I'll just turn off the grid display so it looks better. And uh, that's it for those two tasks. Bye for now.